assalamu alaikum today uh, we'll learn how to operate the uv visible spectrophotometer today this is uh, actually shimarzu model number uv 1700 pharma spec shimarzu japan this is uv visible spectrophotometer uh, today we will learn how to start this spectrophotometer here we can see the power switch this is power switch and we will start by pressing this switch and we will open the lid here now you can see it starts initialization in this initialization you can see here it will check all its few parameters including rom ram filter origin light source lambda origin w lamp everything will be checked and uh, after checking each parameter it will become okay now you can see here the you now it is checking light source similarly remaining parameters will be checked while initialization i tell you about some keyboard here is here are some features like return mode and printing feature and here you can see as a go to lambda it is a feature of this 1700 uv spectrophotometer to set the wavelength during photometric mode this is auto zero to set the absorbance or transmittance zero transmit in case of transmittance it will become 100% and in case of absor absorbance it will become zero when we will press the auto zero here you can see the start and stop button by pressing this button we start the run and this is enter button this is all about the keyboard these are four soft keys f1 f2 f3 and f4 these are used while observing the screen when these four keys appears on the screen on the base bottom of the screen we can use these keys for different operations now you can see the initialization has reached near d2 lamp energy this step will check the deuterium lamp energy and the at the last lambda check while completion of this initialization step we check the other parts of this spectrophotometer here you can see the lid remember don't rem don't open the lid during the initialization step this is main precaution during the operation of this spectrophotometer never open this lid during the initialization now this is last step you can see here d2 lamp energy is okay and now photometer is checking its lambda if the lambda check is okay then all initialization steps will be lit and the main menu will appear on the screen now you can see here all the steps are okay it means the spectrophotometer is working perfectly all right and now the main menu has appeared on the screen the main menu on the screen you can see here these are the different steps photometric mode two number is spectrum three number is quantitation kinetics time scan multi component photometric multi lambda and the optional program prac and the last one is the utilities in the utilities we can set different parameters like date and time 
lambda change, lamp change, wavelength, etc. Usually in the pharmaceutical industry, usually first two steps are used, one, uh, one is the photometric mode. Now we start from the photometric mode, one number, we will press. Now before going to start the pressing the button one or photometric mode, we see the how we can set the sample in the sample compartment. This is lid, when we open this lid you can see here there are two cell holders. This is reference cell holder and this is sample cell holder. The sample cell holder is also used for the reference standard as well as the sample, sample solution. For analysis we will use the quad cells and the one quad cell is placed in this holder for the reference in which the only blank is placed and the other is in standard and sample. Now we close the lid and check some parameters how to operate these parameters. One number when we press the one number the screen will show the photometric mode. Now you can see on the screen this is 500 nanometer wavelength is set already set which is preset and the data is showing the 100 percent it means it is transmittance. We will use this soft key, this soft key F1 likewise this F1 and it will become absorbance mode. Similarly again we will push press the F1 it will convert into percent mode. So usually pharmaceutical purpose we will use in the absorbance mode. This is wavelength, this wavelength is set as per procedure if the wavelength in the procedure is mentioned 254 nanometer we will set and we will change this spectrophotometric wavelength like this. We will press go to lambda, this is go to lambda and we will set here 254 key punch 254 and press enter. The wavelength will become 254, here it is 254.0 nanometer. So the no wavelength has been set at 254 nanometer. Similarly when we will go back to 500 nanometer, we will proceed similarly by pressing the go to lambda and then 500 and enter. We will get 500 nanometer. This is all about spectrophotometric mode. First of all you can see here the absorbance is 0. We will put here in both cells reference and sample cells. We will put the blank and close the lid and press auto 0. It will become 0. Then we will put standard in this cell, remove this cell and place it in a standard solution in this quad cell and close. You will remain the blank in the, in the back side. You will not remove this solution. Close the lid and read out this reading and note down. And after that put the sample and record the reading. These readings will be used in the calculation mentioned in the USP method or BP method. Now we will analyze the sample by using the spectrum mode. This is spectrum mode 2 number. We will see how to operate the spectrum mode. Press 2 in the spectrum mode and you will see here 
different parameter to be set. First is the absorbance mode which is absorbance or transmittance, second is the scanning range, third one is recording range. Recording range means this is actually absorbance range minus 0.222 and the scan speed is fast, you may set and the medium or slow. These are the parameters by which we can use the method as per method. Now you will set in the reference cell and in the sample cell blank and then we will press the baseline correction. Baseline correction will be performed by pressing F1 key. When you will put the blank in this sample and reference cell, you will perform the baseline correction first. Then we will set the sample in this mode, in this cell, then we will start the analysis. When we start the analysis, this screen will show just like this. This is how the scanning mode or spectrum mode is used for the analysis. Similarly, you will get this scan of the standard as well as the sample. Here you can see the spectrum is on the baseline because we have put on the sample as well as in the reference cell we have put the blank. So, this is straight line. This is how the spectrum mode is used for the analysis. Now, we will start the shutting down the equipment. First of all, before going to shut down the equipment, you will, rip, you will take the both cells and wash them and ensure that there is no any quad cell in the sample compartment. Then close the lid and check, go back, return in the initial mode then you will press the mode button and you will get the screen. This is, I would not save. Now this is the main menu screen. When you get the main menu screen, turn off the switch on the left side of the spectrophotometer from where we started it. This is the power switch. We will shut down like this. Thank you very much.